way, once you get that, uh, the backing off your HVAC aluminum tape, you really have to be light fingered because that has such a strong glue adhesive on the back of it. The slightest touch of your material and it wants, it's, it wants to stick. Which, uh, <laughs> so you got to get your placement in your mind ahead of time. So take your tape and, you know, you do your, your folding to get your half ahead of time and you stick it on your material with your backing still on it and see exactly where you want to cut it before you even start. And you'll know, work for you better in the long run like that. Well, trying to cut off the, uh, hinge for the reflective panel and I did do that. Um, I changed my power saw blade to a carbide and uh, hooked off the piano hinge to a 2x4 with a locking C-clamp and uh, extended that over my work surface and then cut it. I did find out that there was a lot of movement in there and it wasn't quite as nice and straight as I want. I'm going to try it again and uh, clamp down on it a little harder and see if I can make my cut a little straighter. I had to do some filing on this to get the edges straight and also take the sharpness off the edges. We'll try it again. Okay, this arrangement worked a little better. I put the two C clamps, really clamped it down hard to the 2x4 and I actually clamped my 2x4 off to my work surface. And uh, it made a a, not, a much nicer and uh, straighter cut. I did get a little bit of sharpness on there. I will file it down. But it pretty much all stayed on the line within, I'd have to say, eighth of an inch. That's not too bad. have a little bit of hinge left over. I can use for another purpose. have to do a little bit of filing on this. And um, when you do this, uh, make sure you wear gloves and some eye protection because those shards were metal, sharp metal shards were flying everywhere when you went through this metal with the carbide saw. That's owie. I got one in my finger I'm working out. Gloves. Alright, I'm just testing the integrity of the, the hinge. It still folds just fine. I remembered not to cut through a divot that's holding the rod in. Let's check the other one. Yeah, it's folding right fine. And that's good. And uh, oh, uh, another note on cutting the metal with uh, the carbide saw. Make sure you have long sleeves on. Gloves, long sleeves, and eye protection. I was really surprised me how much metal shards were flying off of there. Okay, let's uh, Clamp these onto our side panels, uh, mark the holes and drill. Okay, I'm fitting the hinge on the second piece now between my marks that I made with my grease pencil. This is the outside of my, my sheet and the outside of my hinge. We're ready to mark and drill. This thinner material is much easier to rivet. You've only got one, two, three, four, and they're pretty much all thin. They're not like going through that uh, tension stretcher bar. Woo! A cyclone tension bar. That was tough going with those rivets. This one is just moving right along. And I've been checking underneath and all the rivets are holding on the other side. I haven't even had any used washers. I'm placing the built-in washer side uh, on the side of the hinge. Uh, because if I do it the other way, these particular decorative rivet, rivets won't uh, expand enough to grip the hole that big, I would have to use a washer on top of the hinge, so I didn't. I flipped it over. And I'm doing the opposite of what I would normally do on this panel, but it holds better. 
That to me is what counts. Um, primarily. And if I don't like the looks of it, I can always put that HVAC tape over it. But I do like the looks of it. That's pretty good there. All right, that's the second panel. Now we can attach this to the big panel. Well, I laid out the panels onto the main body of the reflector. And it just made me feel so good to actually see my diagram come to life. That looks a lot like the diagram, a lot like what I had in mind. So uh, that's good to plan ahead. I'm just going to uh, clamp those off, uh, fit, do the holes for the hinges, rivet that together. And uh, that reflector panel, uh, the main body of it is uh, will be finished. Woo! That's exciting. Now I love to pony clip things off to uh, make it more stable, but I can't get my pony clip anywhere in there to uh, secure the hinge before I mark it. So I'm just going to use some duct tape and make sure that that hinge rod has plenty of room to pivot. Nice thing about that is if I change my mind before I mark my holes, that duct tape is easy to pull off, just like ponies. Rascal's enjoying some rainwater. Princess is supervising like normal. Yep. And little salsa over there is getting into some kind of trouble, which is pretty normal for her as well. <laughs> Aren't you, baby? Yeah, there's your little chew bottle she likes to carry around. Let's see what Mama's done today. Well, got the side panels on. The hinges are right here. And uh, that took, uh, of course, always longer than I figured it's going to take. Uh, one side was actually a little bit different than the other side. And I ended up uh, on some of the rivets putting through extra washer support here and there. But uh, really didn't need it on all of them. Now the next thing would be to hook the hinge along the back. I didn't quite get to that today like I wanted to, but that's okay. At least I know that the, the flanges are on and done. And uh, that was a big step right there. It's starting to really look like a solar bread box now, which is exciting. <laughs> now, yesterday uh, I had finished putting the flanges on the main reflector panel. Hi, Hope. <laughs> um, and I had taped up all these edges on this triangular thing, but it just never really um, sat with me well. So, what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to cut these edges off flush so there's really no point on them at all because uh, it just it bugged me that they were just sticking out the little bit that they are well between um, using the tin snips and using the pliers to bend it back and forth, I finally snapped that off. Um, so I'm going to be taping that edge, filing and taping so that, and now that's straight across. There's no little tiny points to knot. That bugged me. I'm going to do the same for all, all the different points to make a safer edge. This is from the pyramid. 